Josh, what are some of the best non-conference matchups you're looking forward to this fall? Well, we've got several of them now. I want to qualify what I'm going to say. Most of the games I'm going to mention, I think all of them, in fact, are going to be in the first three weeks of the season. I understand we have a lot of rivalry games at the end of the year. Florida plays Florida State every year. Uh, you know, we have a lot of out-of-conference rivalry games every year. But let's talk about the September matchups. And there are some of them that maybe you haven't gotten a preview magazine season yet, so maybe you haven't looked and you aren't aware these games are happening. Well, let me tell you, there are some big ones. So in no particular order, I mean, we've got Cincinnati going to Arkansas. Do you guys realize that? Last year, Arkansas played uh, someone, it may have been Rice. I think we were chanting, don't lose to food, when Arkansas opened the season last year. So they played Rice. Well, this year they opened against Cincinnati. So that's a playoff team. Coming into Fayetteville, that's not a neutral site game. Also, the backyard brawl, producer Jesse, overly excited about this. When you got West Virginia and Pitt, Utah is going to Florida. That's not a neutral site game. I want to make sure you understand that because Georgia versus Oregon, for example, is another game I'm looking at. That's Dan Lanning's opener, former Georgia defensive coordinator, now head coach at Oregon. Will they open in Atlanta? Now, our friends out west will say, what are you talking about? That's not neutral. That, that would be like us playing a neutral game in Portland. Yeah, I get that. But it is being played somewhere other than Athens or Eugene. And also, another on-campus game. This, this would be my guess for the game that we're going to attend in week one. And that is Notre Dame at Ohio State. So I just gave you five of them, but it doesn't stop there. Because as I said, the entire month of September is really loaded. And I think a lot of you may be hearing these matchups for the first time. So in week uh, two and week three, I mean, think about week two, Florida State plays LSU. That's a Sunday game. So I think that's that Labor Day Eve game. Uh, you've got Alabama at Texas the next weekend. That's in Austin, not neutral site, guys. Alabama at Texas. Miami is going to Texas A&M a week later. Uh, that same weekend that Miami goes to A&M, Penn State goes to Auburn. And you've also got Oklahoma at Nebraska. These games are all happening within the first three weeks of the season. So first off, hat tip to all these universities who are scheduling the out-of-conference games the way they are, especially the ones in the Big Ten or the SEC, because the fact of the matter is they don't really need to. They're all to have the, they, they would have the strength of schedule they needed regardless. So hats off when you do that. But I'm really excited about those. And I'm looking for the second year in a row at a high-profile matchup in Fayetteville. And uh, it's a place I haven't been. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. And yet I'm also looking at Notre Dame versus Ohio State. Think about the subplots. If you're a storyline person, Think about Marcus Freeman. You know, think about all the, the tie-ins that he has there in the Midwest. And they go, with, in his first game as a head coach, no less, they go to play Ohio State. Uh, think about Cincinnati and Luke Fickle and what maybe could have been. But Luke Fickle stays at Cincinnati because of the success they had. And they went so deep into the postseason that he did not go interview for other jobs. Therefore, Marcus Freeman gets the Notre Dame job. Luke Fickle still at Cincinnati. They're opening in week one on the road in the SEC. There is a lot to look forward to. Uh, Out-of-conference games are always a blessing in every sense of the word. Enjoy them because then you start diving into conference play. You don't get as many of them until like the last week of the year, and those are the ones you get every year. So those are the ones I would circle. I mean, that Notre Dame-Ohio State game, there going to be so many questions about both programs, quite frankly, but Ohio State especially. You know, you'll have a lot of validation seeking. You'll have a lot of things you think you know. It's a segment we do on the show sometimes. I think I know. Well, you're going to think that you know Ohio State is right up there below Alabama as one of the preemptive preseason favorites to make the playoff, to uh, play for a national championship. Well, they don't open against uh, Miami of Ohio. You know, they open against a legitimate out-of-conference opponent. And it wasn't, what, but week two last year that Oregon came in there and ruined a lot of postseason hopes and ruined a lot of things for them. So looking forward to a lot of those. But, yeah, it's a loaded September. That September card is loaded to uh, – loaded to the brim.